Hey guys, so today we're gonna be showing you how to make a, a screen GUI, a screen GUI. So you're gonna add a screen GUI on start on start GUI. Then you're gonna go to screen GUI, add a bool value, name it open exactly how I'm typing it. Open like that. Then you're gonna add a frame. It's gonna be the background for your buttons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do one for now. right there all right so you're gonna add an image button you're gonna put the image button right here you can edit that how you want all right on the image button you're gonna go down to to image you're gonna add an image i'm just doing a, a configuration options well i mean um, you gotta save it. I got this from the internet and made it. Oh, in her I just got it from the internet and made it a PNG. Just save it to your to your um desktop. Choose file and open it. All right. So now that we have it, we're gonna go to background transparency. Over here. make this frame color how you want image button make it how you want it all right so I got mine so now you're gonna add another frame this is gonna be where your items are gonna be or your options tab is gonna be Put it however big you want. All right. So now right here, just edit it however you want. My two text labels. I'm just gonna edit it right now. Hmm. I was in the wrong. Change it. Alright, so once you got your GUI, you are going to add a text button. It's going to be the exit button to exit out of here. Just make it 29 times 29, or however big you want it. Put at the very corner. Name it button.
go to X. All right, there you got your button. All right, so now you're gonna add a local script on here. Right here, go to the description down below. I'm gonna leave the all the scripts and name them. You're gonna do get the close button. Copy it, paste it down here. All right. So you can exit all that. You may exit if you want. All right, so you're done with the that button. Now you're gonna go to the image button. You're gonna add look script. You're gonna go to the description down below. And copy the button script. Alright, also, you can change the blur script right here. If you don't want the blur effect, just put these little lines right here. But I want them, so I'm going to just keep them. Alright, so you can exit all that. You're gonna add another script, another local script. It's gonna be the rotating, the rotating script, which I completely forgot to put in the script. I'll put this in the description too, I just forgot to. Copy, I'm trying to make this video fast. All right, you can exit all that. Now you're going to add another local script. This is going to be in the description too. This is going to make it um, do sound whenever you click it. This is um, local button dot script dot parent. The local button. Whenever you click this, it's going to play the click sound. Which we're gonna add right now into the image button. I just have a sound. Name it click sound. Go to the description and copy the sound ID. Or you can get your own, it doesn't really matter. All right, then you just press um paste it on there. Um, control B, Control V, to copy, and then Control C to cop. I mean Control V to paste, and then Control C to copy. All right, just press Enter. Yeah, it works. All right. So I think we're done. Oh, and I forgot to mention that name this something other than frame. Now go to frame, go to the description, and copy the position. And go down to position on the frame. Control V to paste. Just press enter. Alright, now it's spinning. And once you press it, it comes down. The clicks on it's not a problem. Anymore. I added in the wrong. Alright, then you gotta add click sound, the sound into the image button. So once you click it, it's gonna do a click sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And it comes up and you can add stuff in there. Alright, so thank you for watching and like the video if you liked it and subscribe.